Good morning, friends. Andrew Maxey with uh, Wednesday morning, Keeley for Kids update. I made it out of the house, out walking today. No pack, don't worry. I'll be carrying a pack the next two weeks. Um, so, just real quick here. First of all, oh my goodness. Thank you to everyone who has responded over the last two days. Um, donations uh, to this particular campaign uh, skyrocketed over the last 36 hours or so. Um, I have two sponsors, $2,000 sponsors. So I'm picking up banners and uh, a flat Libby, how cool is that? To take with me if you don't know about flat stanley read up on that that's a thing um so i'm very excited very cool very cool to see folks uh getting involved and being part of this um i i, I do have one thought for today that is kind of about this but it's generally just a word of encouragement um if you've been paying attention to, I don't know, really anything right now, you know that there's plenty, plenty to be discouraged about. And plenty of things in our world and in our society that are not right. And it's been that way for a while. Um, it's part of the human condition. For us to act like things are worse now than there ever been, uh, <laughs> reveals a gross unfamiliarity with human history. We're really good at doing things that are bad for us, both individually and collectively. But here's, here's, uh, that's not the point. The point is, um, it's not hopeless. Uh, the only thing for conditions like this to continue whatever that situation is that has you discouraged or that you are involved with and is not right, the only thing necessary for that to continue is for you to accept that there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so interesting that today um, the impact of interactions on even social media have a tangible effect on outcomes, on decision making, by both in politics, in business, and lots of area. Lots of areas. That's and that's just one example. So specifically now in regards to this that I'm trying to bring awareness to to the issue of building strong readers in our schools. I want you to catch this. That's what this is all about. This is not libra about librarians. This is not about libraries. This is definitely not about me. But this is about building strong readers. And the point is, we can do this. And I'm not asking you to drop what you're doing and jump on this. I'm asking you to drop what you're not doing. If you've got nothing, if you haven't figured out something that you can do, go to your school's library and say, I'd like to buy one book. Which book do you need? How much do you need me to donate? By the way, don't go buy a paperback book. It'll get torn up in one year and you'll have to buy another one. For just a little more, your library can buy a library-bound book. And that's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying, is just do a little bit. Just help a little bit. And if you're inspired to give to this particular campaign, that'd be awesome too. But I know that there are libraries and schools out there that actually need your help more than the libraries I'm climbing for. So whatever you do, 
Just don't do nothing. That's all. Just don't do nothing. Do something. The brokenness of the world needs us to continue being broken. We are specifically equipped to bring love and healing to people around us. And that costs, that costs us. But all that brokenness needs to continue is our permission. And we give it permission to continue when we do nothing about it. You don't have to solve the whole problem, any of these problems. You just need to help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really looking forward to it. Here's the mega steep hill I'm climbing, which is why I'm panting. You guys are awesome. Talk to you soon.